Can you all hear us? So we are back again with this nice session today. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Wave your hands at us so that we know you're there. Hi, Shweta. Hi, Sachi and Chachi. Hi. Or shall we wait for some more time before we start? Did you see it's snowing? Did you see that? Look at the snow. There's a lot in our garden. What about yours? Yes, what about your garden? Is it snowing there? There's a lot in ours, definitely. <gasps> Yay, it is snowing. Mummy is there. Hi, Mummy. Anybody wants to see snow or shall we start with our session for today? Hi, Rashi. Hi, Ruthvi. Hi. Do you want to see snow, Ruthvi? Hi, Kavita. Pretty excited, yes, for the snow or for the session? For what? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started then. So as we know, she's saying hi to you, Prisha. Hi. Okay, so who wants to tell me that whales, are they fishes or they animals? Snow. Okay, let me show you snow then. Hold on. It's still snow now. Oh, but it's still there and they can see, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's still. Can you see snow outside? There's a lot. It is still snowing though. I, I have a fun fact about snow. What? Snow is actually water. It's, it's crystal water, dried water, which is falling. Okay. So who wants to tell me whether whales, are they fishes or are they animals? Do you want to tell me anything about it? Is a whale a fish or an animal? Anybody wants to say or shall I say? Yes, Prisha? Fish. No. Let's see what. Uh, who is saying fish? So Prisha is. Hi, Diana. So Prisha is saying fish. Diana, tell me what do you think? Ruthvi, Diana, Jaina, please tell me. Whales are. See, Kavita knows it. Whales are mammals. That's right. So, but then what do we call them? How do we address them? Do we call them as animal or a fish or marine mammal? What do we call them? Ruthvi is saying mammal. Yeah, correct. Yes. Shweta is saying from Sachi. Okay. So that will be an animal. Yes. So it's a marine animal. So a marine mammal. Exactly to be precise. Okay. So today we are going to talk about blue whales, which are the largest living animals on this planet. There's nothing bigger than a blue whale. See, how big is it? Up to what? Okay, so there are many ways in which it is big. In fact, everything about a blue whale is big. So if you want to look at the size, I've got this. So these are all the kinds of whales. Okay. And if you see this, the biggest one is the blue whale. If you want to compare it uh, to things that we know, then let me tell you how big it is. One blue whale, the length of it, is equal to three school buses. So if three school buses were standing back to back, 
that is how long a blue whale would be and in weight it would be equal to 15 school buses so if we were to put a weighing scale and 15 school buses on one side and a whale on the other side it is highly possible that the whale might actually weigh more than the school bus so what do you think what else could be big about the blue whale um size no that we've done but what else is big about the blue whale which is really uh, astonishing to know anybody wants to say height height yes we've done anybody wants to say what else could be big about the blue whale if the blue whale is so big what else could be big about it what is your main organ anybody wants to say anything what is the what is the main organ of your body which pumps blood everywhere heart yes so the heart of a blue whale is really huge do you want to take a guess how big it is is it as big as the chair no the chair would just get lost in its heart it's even more bigger how big could it be as big as the wall heart brain yes so rashi tell me how big do you think the heart would be if you have to compare it wall um wall yes you are close to it but think of something else house not house not that big 20 inches no 20 inches is too small a car yes shala is correct it's as big as a car you can actually sit inside its heart it's so huge did you know and the uh, the uh, blood vessel the biggest blood vessel the aorta it is so big that you could actually be swimming inside it so you could be swimming inside the heart yes you could you could possibly swim inside its heart so that was its heart anybody wants to say about its tongue how big could its hi kisha how big could its tongue be anybody wants to take yes um is it as big as the claw clock is too tiny in front of it if its heart is so big if its body is so big its tongue has to be big anybody wants to take a guess how big its tongue could be any ideas um as big as the tv 40 inches no as big as yes no tv is too tiny take a bigger guess to three wall okay okay let's put it this way uh, if anything has to stand on the tongue up to what what weight could the tongue bear wall diana is saying wall no not wall it is so big that an elephant can stand on it and it still wouldn't bend it is so strong and so big isn't it surprising yeah i didn't know it 5 meters like that yes it could be 5 meters you are close to it as big as that tree that's not no that's too small in front of its tongue its tongue is really huge probably the whole length of our house would be covered in it in its tongue it's so huge anybody else wants to uh, think 150 kilo oh the ruthvi is correct it weighs up to 150 kilo its tongue so that's up to two daddies if two daddies come together that is what one tongue would weigh i tell me it's funny that two daddies are standing on <laughs> a scale <laughs> yes it is actually so 10 meters prachi is saying yes so prachi is close by about it 10 meters is close to it so if it is if its tongue is so big what do you think about its teeth um as big as um a door i don't know let's see what others say what do you think about its teeth how big could its teeth be any guesses anybody wants to take a guess about its teeth okay somebody is typing something wait each tooth is 40 inches 
Okay, so Ruthvi is saying a chair. Uh, Sachi is saying each tooth is 40 inches. Prisha is saying a door. Anybody else wants to take a guess? How big its tooth could be? Pillow. Dhyana is saying pillow. Rashi is saying, wow, it's so fascinating. Yes, it is actually. You will be fascinated by the fact that it has no teeth. One meter. No, it has no teeth oh, at oh, all. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that. A whale doesn't have its teeth. A whale has this whale, the blue whale. There are whales which have teeth as well. But blue whale has no teeth at all. Then how does it eat its food? Does it just swallow it? I'll tell you what it does. Yes. So it has got something called as baleen. So baleen is like a sieve. It's like a comb. Okay. So from its jaw, it would have something coming out like this. So when it when it opens its mouth, it, it opens so big and then all the krill comes inside with the so, ocean water. So the krill, that's the whale's food or in the another weed. Yeah? Yes, the krill, the tiniest krill, which is actually so tiny, is the whale's food. And it, it eats tons of it. How how could it be satisfied with just such a small piece of it? Because it eats tons and tons of it. It eats a lot of it. So what happens is these baleen the gaps in between each of them is so thin that water, the ocean water escapes out, but it's food, the krill remains in. Gums. No, it doesn't have gums. From the gums, it's instead of teeth and gums, it's got baleen. I've got a picture to show you. Wait. This is what it is. See. Can I see? Yes, you can. That looks like its tail. No, it's not. So this is its mouth. And this is baleen. And through this, all the water would come out and the krills and the fishes would remain inside it. And that is what it would then swallow and it would become its food. Isn't that fascinating? Isn't that surprising, Prisha? Yeah, it's surprising that it, it, it doesn't and it have the stuff like us, like the teeth and gums, like us humans. And still, it is so big in size. Yeah. Preeti is saying this some nice. Yes. So, the blue whale is actually so fascinating that it's got such interesting facts about it. And you will be surprised to know about them today. Honestly, trust me. So, that was about it. Yes, it is. So, that was about its baleen. So, there are other whales which have got teeth. Okay, so do you want to know which whale has got teeth? Or shall we go to the next fact? You tell me. So you want me to go to the next fact? Or shall we talk about other, other whales which have got no teeth? What do you want to do, Prisha? Shall we go to the next fact? Yeah. Other whales, please. Okay. So, as you can see, we've got the humpback whale. This also doesn't have teeth. Then we've got the blue whale, which we are doing now, which has no teeth. Then we have the mink whale, the smaller one. This doesn't have teeth. So, all of them have no teeth. So, the humpback, mink, blue, Fin whale, sea whale, and gray whale. All of these have got no teeth and they are still so huge. That's so surprising. Yeah, I saw you could only be huge with your teeth and gums. Mm. Okay. So, what brings me to wonder is that if it is so huge, how is it not sinking and how is it swimming? It doesn't have hand and feet like us. It has only fins and tail. How does it swim being so huge? What allows it to be so huge? Anybody wants to take a guess about it? How is it allowed to grow so huge? I think I know. What? Um, How does it grow so huge? And why doesn't it sink? Well... Like if we have to swim, we have to spend so much energy to swim. Despite our weight being tiny in front of the whale. 
but if a whale has to swim and stay floating and not sink how is it doing it is born big yes you are correct it is born big but even at that weight to for it to float how does it what allows it what could be a factor which would allow it to grow so big there is something which allows it to grow so big anybody wants to take a guess on that what do you think think use your brain food yes food is there but then why is it like we say swimming is something which you do to lose weight correct for human beings so it is going on swimming even then why is it growing so big that is my question what is making it grow so big it's not the food it's something else fins no it's something else which Gale. is allowing it gills no what what could make it grow so big i forgot muscles no okay so i'll tell you what it is it is the fat the blubber there is a th if you remember we've spoken about blubber which is such a thick layer of fat so it is surrounded all over hi prableen so it is surrounded all over by this layer of fat which makes it buoyant so buoyancy means being able to float so because of this thick layer of fat it can float and it doesn't sink down to water and another the fact that which helps is gravity is always lesser in water gravity is more on land and you cannot fly or float but gravity in water is lesser and that is why you can swim hi sama so that is the reason that despite it being so huge it can still swim isn't that interesting it is interesting yes so that brings me to next question if it is so big how does it swim and what speed would it be swimming at does it swim fast or slow yes prisha um fast yes it is amazing isn't it i think slow what let's see what others have to say what do you think it it would be swimming fast or slow fast shweta is saying fast diana is saying slow ruthvi is saying slow okay so uh, how do we measure fast and slow you think it swims faster than humans or slower than humans what do you think who can swim faster us fast fast okay i think it swims fast because it has to catch fishes maybe okay we'll come about that because th that is another very interesting point about how it catches its fishes kisha is saying fast dhyana is saying fast so it swims so you all are saying that it swims faster than us humans correct faster faster right i think it was rashi singh slow kavita is singh slow i think it swims so also faster than humans too yes the whale is faster so majority are correct the whale despite it being so huge can swim faster than us so it, can it swim the fastest it can swim really fast so what the speed which an average human being swims is 2 miles per hour we cannot swim faster than that but a whale can swim at 4.6 miles per hour so it is nearly more than double faster than what we do it's too bulky to swim fast yes but that is what it is because of the fat layer it becomes light and it can go on swimming fast because fat has got air trapped in it and it is buoyant like if you would put oil on top of water it would float on water it wouldn't sink so it is that fat which makes the whale swim so, helps the whale swim so um the fat um makes the whale float and it helps it swim even quicker yes so shweta is saying it's 4.6 miles per hour yes you're right on dot it swims at 4.6 miles per hour and if it has to swim even faster it could probably go up to 10 miles per hour when it is 
uh, uh, when it feels that it's in danger or something, then that is the time when it swims really fast. Yeah, but it's the biggest animal. How can another animal hurt not so big? See, it 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 knows that it it doesn't know that it is biggest. Okay, it still feels threatened from the animals. Like you know that you are bigger than a dog. Okay. but you still feel scared of a dog i feel scared of a dog not she actually to be honest <laughs> i'm very scared of dogs who else is scared of dogs over here i'll tell you the secret what's the secret when she was a child the dog was chasing her because she she because the dog thought that she was an intruder <laughs> who else is scared of dogs and cats i'm scared not me Samai saying me, Ruthvi saying she. Okay. <laughs> well, so that was about its speed of swimming. Okay. So before we move on to next fact, shall we play one game? Because we've got two games today. So since we are talking <coughs> about swimming and buoyancy, <coughs> shall we play the buoyancy game first? Sama loves cats. Rashi saying not small puppies. Okay, Shweta saying Shweta, you are very smart and brave. Anyways, I don't think you would get scared of anything. Oh, Diana is saying yes. Okay, okay. So let's play this game, which is which everybody knows about. Okay, it is called sink or float. What object is going to sink and what object is going to float? But the thing here is, you have to take a guess whether it is going to sink or float, and then we will see. Okay, so we've got a few objects over here. Okay, and some toys, some food, and the water is over here. Yes, and we've got some water. So wait, let me make space. It's heavy. You don't take it. I can take it. It's stuck. It's patchy. Okay, so we've got water now, and we've got these toys and objects. Okay. So, which wait? Which object shall we start with? Shall we start with this or the toy or the sponge? Which one will float and which one will sink? What do you think? Will this float or sink? Sink. I say it will float. float sponge okay toy sink okay let's let's see 1 2 3 it is floating the doggy is sinking no the doggy is floating it's a cat and the cat i thought cats okay. don't like water but this one does okay now let's put the sponge and see float or sink they are saying it will float so let's put it and see sink It's floating. Wrong again. Because it's got air. See, when I press, you can see air coming out. Oh yeah. The water. Nice. Wait. So whatever has now it will sink. Wait, hold it, beta. So whatever has got air in it will sink because it helps buoyancy. So now I've wringed all the water out and it's filled the air in again. Let's see. I'll show it to you again. Hold it, beta. See. And you press it in. and all the air will come out and it's not even letting me press because of the pressure of air can i try to press it yes it let me <laughs> press <laughs> i think it's my okay. friend so now next objects are this strawberry and potato which will sink which will float sink this is baby potato and this is strawberry Which will sink and which will float? Be there. You can hear the bubble. <laughs> I actually liked listening to those bubbles. Really, I mean that is why I did it again. <laughs> Both sink. Okay, Diana is saying float. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Put one. Okay, oh. so the strawberry is floating. I'm wrong so many times. And the potato. I think the potato is going to sink. Let's see. Hatle. Sink. It's floating. Yeah. It was... No, wait. Let me see. Let, take your hand away. If you take, keep your hand. I can't see. 
No, it is sinking. I'm correct. It has sunk. Yes. So the strawberry. Then why is the strawberry floating? What do you think? Um, maybe because of the leaves and the seeds. No, because it's hollow inside. If I was to cut the strawberry, then it's got a hollow inside, and that is what is trapping the air and making it float. Potato sink. Yes. Okay. So the next object that we have is a candle. What do you think this candle will do? Will it sink or will it float? Float. But candle is heavy. I I think it's heavy. I think it will sink. Let's see. One, two, three. It is floating. Why? Why is it floating? I think I know. Float, float. Because yes. it's made of wax. Yes, and wax is. fat so as we have spoken about blubber anything which is fat will float okay so i've got this one now okay it's a shopkin yeah, so i've got the small toy and it is closed wait a minute it is open and i can close it so will this sink or will it float wo bhi re will this sink or will it float what do you think What do you think, Krishna? Um, sink. I think it will float. Float. <laughs> One, two, three. It's floating. But what happens if we take the lid off? Let me try. Okay. Sink. Float. What? What? But 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 wait a minute. But you take. I like the bubbles. Okay. Oh. If I take all the air out, and now if I close, now what happens? Sink. Out. Yes, it sinks. <laughs> so the so what we have understood is, fat and air is what makes things float. Last few objects of today, this car okay. and this slime thing. Yes, the slime pot. Float, Prachi Singh. Okay, which one shall we put? Wait, which one do you want to see? This car, or you want to see the slime pot? Which one shall we put? Shall we put the car, or shall we put the slime pot inside? Car. Okay, I think the car will swim. No, or float. Sink. Sink. Okay. Yes, it has sunk. It color changes a bit. Yeah, but that's different. That's not okay. Slime. Okay, let's put the slime and see. Sink. Okay, let's sink. see. Put, put, put it. Ow! It's floating because it's got air inside. See? Oh, look! It's got sl slime. Will sink? It. No, the slime was floating. Shall we take it out and drop it? <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, drop it in. Uh, See, it is sinking. The slime has sunk inside. It's like you put. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can don't make a mess. I'm not making a mess. Okay. Grapes. We've got grapes here. Will it's, grapes sink or float? Um, I think float. Float. Okay. Put. It's sinking. But if we were putting separate grapes, then what would happen? Wait. Oh, it's all falling off. It's all falling off. It's okay. So the grapes are going to sink. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You are close to the laptop, and I don't want you to spill water on laptop. Okay. Okay. So you let me do this. Okay. Shall we do one one or two more objects, or shall we uh, go to facts? Tell me, what shall we do? Do more objects, or shall we go to facts? Objects. Okay. So we've got this bobble here. What do you think will it do? Sink or float? Sink. Float. 
Hey, you are correct. How <laughs> did it sink? Because um all the all these because um, there were um uh, like you said with the grapes and um, they were all attached and this one has stuff attached to it. So when I dropped, I can't believe I actually thought this would float, but it is sinking. I knew that because it gave it away with the grapes. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Okay. Next what do you think of um? Here, yes, take that one. And this necklace. So you have this toy necklace and this num num. What do you think? Sink. Float. I think both will float. I think both will float. Sink. <gasps> because it's got a racer inside. Oh. It's an eraser. I <laughs> thought this would have floated. Okay. Um, this will float. What? Yes, it's floating. Obviously, it can float. Both will sink. Sink. Okay. Sa Sachi, both did not sink. Only this one has sunk. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this one. We've got just one last object now. We've got a few more. No, we've done them, isn't it? Just this LOL and that one here. Okay. Hey, there's one more here. Yeah, okay. So it's an LOL. Um, I think this will float because it's got air inside. And now we know that air sink. and fat makes sink. anything float. See, it's floating. I thought it would because it doesn't but have if, a hole. If, no, but if we would remove its head. Then <laughs> don't know who it said. Now this will sink. See? And this will float. How is that possible? <gasps> yeah, but you if wait. I... Okay, if I attach it. Come on, baby. Give it. <laughs> Okay, let's let's attach the head again, okay? Okay, because it's an LOL. Ah. <laughs> I didn't think that for this Yeah, sound. done. Yeah. Now this will again float because the head which has got air in it will act like a float which you use when you are swimming, okay? Wait, I need to get... Door will float. Yes, it will float. It is floating. <sighs> Okay, so okay. let's let's put these things away. Wait, there, there are two more. Okay, put them. Float. Yes. Bye bye. Um, float. Float. <laughs> ah. <laughs> sink. <laughs> I was gonna say sink. Okay, let's let's make space for next facts okay. now. Okay, wait, wait one minute. Wait, wait. You cannot take them because it's heavy. I'll do that for you. Okay. Okay. So from this, we from this experiment, what what we've understood is. I was just looking at the snake because I love the smell. <laughs> so okay. So from this sink and float buoyancy, what we understood. Why did we do this? Was we understand that anything which has got air in it and which has got fat, a layer of fat, that is what makes it float. <laughs> 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 okay so that we've done now let's see another fact about migration what do you think uh, can we find whales everywhere in all the oceans you know five oceans don't you yes say what are the five oceans Asia hey, continents <laughs> nahi, flow, oceans ah! <laughs> <laughs> oceans. Tell me the five oceans. Okay, so Sachi is saying they won't be found. Okay, so which ocean are they not found in? What do you think? Sachi, we are waiting for your answer. Not in the please. Ganga, okay. Na ocean, Pacific, no. It is found in the Pacific. <laughs> Arctic. Ruthvi Singh Arctic. Shweta Singh Arctic. Shweta, yes. Yes, it's not found in the Arctic. It's found in all other oceans. But do you think it would go from one ocean to the other on a holiday? What do you think? No. 
it does actually oh. and that's called migration oh no it's cancer they migrate from one ocean to the other so they've got uh, breeding oceans and they've got feeding oceans oh so they travel from one ocean to the other they the breeding ocean is where they give birth to young whales and feeding ocean is where they remain throughout the rest of the year to feed and to grow and do that yes okay so when it is cold they fill up on the krills and they travel towards fr away from the poles and towards more tropical parts of the oceans and that is where they reside most of the time what does reside mean reside is staying they stay in those oceans most of the time so they are haunted no but they can walk yes no they can't walk they can swim how can they walk have you seen a whale walking oh yeah eh. <laughs> okay so uh, from that and from seeing that there are different breeding oceans we come to population what do you think about its population is it are whales the blue whales are they found abundantly or are they endangered or they near extinct what do you think mm, near extinct we'll wait for others to say anybody wants to take a guess are blue whales endangered species or are they near extinct or are they abundant what is abundant abundant mean? means they are there plenty like we humans we are abundant we are nowhere endangered species oh <laughs> yeah endangered yes you are correct they are endangered species but why would they be endangered when they are so huge mm -mm. Mm. um because um global warming yes one reason is extinct no they are not extinct but they are near they are endangered and they are in between endangered and extinct so if we don't look after them they will soon be no more uh, but why would they be in endangered category they are so big because of trash no not trash people catch them yes sachi is saying correct pollution humans yes but why would people want to catch them and pollution also as well so we'll come to that point as well why would people want to hunt them um maybe they want to hunt them to eat no they wouldn't eat a whale why would they want to hunt why would humans want to hunt a blue whale mm -hmm. what can you get from it nothing like they hunt uh, elephants for the tusk and ivory are they yes they are very valuable and you'll be surprised to know why they are hunted that is why i'm asking you what do you think which part of a blue whale would be so pricey and what could it be used for pricey yes it's very expensive it's not the skin it's not the leather to make some stuff yes so you'll be surprised to know it is this the baleen it, they hunt blue whales for baleen and then they use this baleen to form structured frocks you know those big structured frocks which are flaring like this crocodile bags no not crocodile bags this is but, to make those but puffy puffy frocks but half what well, are two things um but oh well, it's bad to her and what are they going to kill the whale on thing yeah it? so those dresses the ones which are puffed like this like it's a, the top is narrow and then the bottom start with becoming flared so the skeleton which is used inside those skirts is made from this baleen and that is why they hunt them and that is why they are endangered but a part so so i'll i'll tell you wait let me show you
So if this is a dress, okay, so the structure inside, which makes this flare like this, that is where they use this baleen. And that is why they hunt it. Can I see? That's not, of course, it's not very good of humans. We, we want to use leather out of animals. We want to use ivory out of elephants to make jewelry. We want to use baleen for so, our clothes. So is um, all our stuff made out of those animals or they are fake? No, our, our house, no, nothing is made out of animals. We use mostly cotton. But it's not about us. It's about humans, everybody. That's what people do. Except me, because I don't like that. Hmm. Okay. So this was hunting. But there is another reason which is making it go endangered and extinct. What could that reason be? Pollution. It is pollution. But like, how pollution? It's, with, it with is so the, huge. It cannot be trapped inside a plastic bag. With the, with the, mel with the melting icebergs. No, why would melting iceberg do anything wrong to a whale? What is, why is pollution making them go endangered? Anybody wants to think about it? Think about it and then we will tell you the answer. No? Shall I tell the answer? So it is global warming. The warm waters are not suitable for krills. And krill is the main diet of blue whale. So if there are no krills, the blue whale cannot survive and it is going to die. We already did Do it. they breathe in it? We did it in one video. Yes. Do they breathe in what? Do they breathe in what? Okay. Pollution. No. No. So, so the pollution is causing global warming. The global warming is causing the oceans to become warm. And the warm, the warm, high Gia, and the warm uh, waters are not suitable for krills. So if krills die, whales have got no more food left. And because they don't have food, they would die and they are going endangered. Well, why can't they eat the dyed krill? They can't eat the dead krill. The dead krill will not be floating. It would have sunk to the bottom of ocean. Anything which dies will sink. Even if a whale dies, it's going to sink down. It can, and only when it becomes a bad carcass, which is uh, rotting, then it starts coming up and it floats. So that was about krills. Okay. So from krills, it brings me to its uh, favorite food. So krill is one, but apart from krills, it's got one one which is its very much favorite, which is the giant squid. Now the giant squid is found deep into the ocean where there's no sunlight and it is very dark. How does it hunt then? How does it look for a giant squid? Hmm. Um, it has like these things and that help it see in the dark. It cannot see in the dark. Like us, it cannot see in the dark. What could it be doing to giant uh, to hunt a giant squid? Can it smell? No, it, it cannot smell. What, what could it be? It uses a technology called as... You want to guess or shall I tell? You want to guess or shall I tell? It has sensors, sense. Yes, sensors is correct. But what kind of sensors? Light sensors? No. You all think about this. Until then, I'll get Navisha and come because I can hear her screaming. Just give me one minute. I want 
to Honavisha. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Navisha. Okay. So it uses something called as sonar technology which we use as well which is sound waves. So that's called echolocation. Yes. Hello baby. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Navisha everybody is saying hi to you. Why are you screaming? Gaga. Kuchu kuchu. I think she's saying hi. <laughs> so as you can see we've got something called as echolocation so it is sending out sound waves it hits the surface of the prey and it reflects back so it reflects those sound waves back and that goes into its brain and it registers <laughs> yes so that is exactly what bats do they use sound waves which reflect to surfaces and come and that is what they do Princess Navisha, she is here. You can see her, Princess Brain Navisha. Sauce. Brain sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so that was echolocation. So that brings us to <laughs> sounds. Hi, Princess Prisha. Hi. Dusty. Dusty. Okay, wait. Okay. So I want to know from all of you. Uh, what do you think? Can whales talk? No. Do they communicate? Yes. yes. Okay. Is a whale's sound uh, louder than our sound or not? How loud sound? Uh, how loud does the whale sound? It the whale it. sound. Whale sound. It answers. Take. You can take this one. We are done with this paper. You can do with this. What do you think? Which which one is louder? Whale's sound or our sound? Or Navisha's sound? Navisha's roar! Really loud. Yes, but how loud? What can you compare it to? Can you compare it to Navisha? Yes! She was like a nice rat! Okay, take her. Bye bye, Dancha. Okay. So, gas. What gas? I think they mean the gas is louder. No. So, the whale, the sound which whale makes is called a call. Okay. So this call is louder than the sound which a jet plane would make. Isn't that surprising? I have got exact facts about it. Okay. So when a whale makes a call or it speaks, it can go up to 230 decibels. Yes. But a jet plane, when it takes off, it can go only up to 120 decibels. So a whale's voice or sound is two times louder than the sound of a plane. Very much, it is actually very much. And you know what, what is more surprising is, yes, I did say. So you know what's more surprising is, underwater, they can communicate with each other thousands of miles apart because they are so loud that they can communicate with each other. And they there are many reasons why they make calls. So so like me there and then the way up to the park. Up to the park, up to another part of the town, they can talk. But, so there are different kinds of calls that a whale makes. What could be the reasons? Why would it make calls? Yes, a whale is way much louder than human. Hmm. Maybe um, if there's a saying it um. They're saying, oh, I'm in danger. No. Help. So they, Navisha is louder than whale. No, Navisha is not. 
they are actually very interesting sachi you do you know what could be the possible reasons that they make these calls what can you think there are some few reasons which you can't even imagine that they make a call for maybe maybe to snatch food from each other no they don't do that maybe to say i'm going to your house no so they do that to maintain social distance <laughs> can you believe that but it's a fact that doesn't make sense so that they don't bump into each other to get a mate no yes to get a mate yes when they are happy when they are in danger yes you are correct so the the most common reason why they make a call is to let another whale know that there is a whale in the vicinity and they don't bump into each other so they maintain social distancing we should learn from them isn't oh, it <laughs> so that was one another one is species and individual recognition so to let another person another whale know that i am so and so whale so a humpback would make a different call to a blue whale so they all have got their own different calls so they all um, call each other in a different way or all in the same way no all all the all of them address each other in a different way do whales like to live together or not no they are quite lonely other than the calf and the mother the calf and the mother are uh, together only till the time the calf weans off because they are mammals obviously like human what beings what just weans off that's what i'm telling you like human beings uh, baby uh, baby whale has milk from mother whale like human beings so uh, the time when you stop we, uh, giving the milk that is called weaning so only till the time the baby whale is feeding on mother whale they are together but apart from that they are quite aloof they don't like to be in bigger groups it's only on couple of occasions that they have found up to six whales floating together but otherwise you will find them individually so they also make uh, calls to give information to each other so i like, like to give ideas to each other not ideas but to tell if there is a danger which one whale has sensed then it makes a particular call to let other whales know that there is danger somewhere close by so you all need to be careful then it also does for social uh, organizations for socializing it has got calls to uh, contact each other and to tell each other to find mates as they had said earlier who had said shweta had said yes so they they do that to find a mate for each other and but but um if they don't extend with each other why do they want a mate to for a mummy to find a papa okay or for a papa to find a mummy that way <laughs> so they also use these calls to communicate locations topographical locations so uh, let's say this part of ocean is not that deep then they make a call to tell that this part of ocean is not too deep don't come here sachi is saying thank you yeah okay so that was about them calling so now sh now shall we play that game where we guess uh, who's making which sound shall we start with that game yeah Okay. Let me get it ready. So I've got a few sounds over here, okay? You have to listen to it and you have to tell me who is making this sound, okay? Can you hear it clearly? Sea mammals. Can you could you hear that clearly? Which animal was making that sound? Sea mammals. No, it's a dolphin. This is a dolphin's call. Then why they didn't say sea mammals? Because these are mammals, Trisha, and they live in the sea. So sea mammals. No. So this was the sound of a dolphin. I'll play it again for you. This is what a dolphin sounds like. Isn't it interesting? So the next sound belongs to whom? 
Duck. You're saying duck. No, it's not a duck. Who makes this sound? Sea lion. No, it's not a sea lion. Who could make this sound? Seal. Yes, Sachi and Panchi are correct. It's a seal. Okay. Who is this? Oh, yes, you're correct. It's an otter. It's a computer. No, it's an otter. An otter makes this sound. Okay. Humpback. No, it was an otter. Otter makes that sound. Now this sound. Who makes this? Elephant. No. This one's too hot. Whale? Who's it? Who makes this sound? What do you think? Sea lion. Blue whale. Yes, you're correct. This is what a whale sounds like. That's a loud sound. Well, I'm sure Navisha's louder than that. No, it's not. It's, it's, you're, you're finding Navisha louder because we've recorded it. But if you were close to it, you would go deaf. Human beings cannot be close to a blue whale for longer time because if you do that, then you become deaf. It's How deaf long frequency. should you be there for? You can't be around it. It's not a social animal. Oh, social distance. So I'll, I'll let you hear the blue whale again. So you'll go deaf if you hear that. Yeah, you'll go deaf. It's like a screeching sound. How do they make sound? How do we all speak and how do we all make a sound? With our voice box. Okay. How with our voice? Dinosaur. No, but, but you are correct actually. I mean, I would also think it would be a dinosaur making that kind of sound. But it's actually a blue whale. Oh. That, just, that doesn't sound like a, a dinosaur because it doesn't have an R at the end. No. Which sound did you find most interesting? Is, is it only the blue whale you go deaf or other whales as well? It's all the whales, the, all, the, the frequency. See, I'll tell you why we go deaf. Because our ear has got something called as a tympanic membrane. Otter. Did you like otter? I like the dolphin. Actually, when Prisha was a baby, she used to make that sound. <laughs> like a dolphin. <laughs> Some people love it. <laughs> Blue whale. Okay. So I'll tell you why would we go deaf around these. Because we've got something called as a tympanic membrane. It's like a surface of a drum. Okay. So whenever a sound frequency hits on it, it starts vibrating. And when the sound frequency is so loud, you like the otter best. Dolphin. Okay. So when the sound frequency is so loud, it literally tears apart and that is how you go deaf because then if you don't have a tympanic membrane you cannot hear anything there is nothing to interpret well well if we shut our ears like this how could we we call it here because the sound waves will be transmitted through your bones and they'll go i can so hear a bit though you can because sounds are like waves so when these waves hit your skull they trans they transfer those waves to the bones in your inner ear. You're welcome. So that is what it was. So it's quite interesting. Maybe we could do uh, the human body or the human ear sometime if everybody's interested. Then we could see that time what we could do. So that was it for for this time. Anybody has any questions or shall we just say bye to each other? What do you say? Bye. She wants to go out in snow, but snow is still not that much. It's still falling. You want to see the snow again? Yes. 
Yeah. It's still it's still gathering. It's still not that thick that we can play. But it's so nice today. It's a, this is amazing. Thank you so can much. Can I just go out and feel the snow on me? Yes, you can later on. Yeah. Okay, be, let's say bye to everybody, Prisha. Bye. Thanks bye. for joining. And we hope you really did enjoy and you uh, found these facts quite intriguing and amazing because I did find them amazing. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Bye. Hmm. Cola breaker, Jason. Crocs, Paddies.